Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about a precious metal that once upon a time was worth more than gold and more than platinum. Now for those of you that have seen today's title of the video, you'll know that the metal we're talking about is in fact palladium. Now palladium once upon a time, and not even that long ago now, was worth actually a lot more than gold and a lot more than platinum. So it's really interesting to hear that. It's only fairly recent that I've actually done a little bit more research into platinum and to try and understand the reasons why platinum has plummeted in price over the last few years. And that is the purpose of today's video. I'll be very interested to hear from those of you that stack palladium as well in the comments section. It's one of those metals, that, a bit like platinum really, that isn't really stacked as much as gold and silver. So you do have certain people out there that really, really like to stack platinum, but not so much. It's more gold or silver that people tend to stack. So palladium is definitely even less stacked in my opinion than even platinum is. Now we're going to start by reading a news article here and this is actually from 2020 and it says more precious than gold why the metal palladium is soaring and you can see I'm not going to read it all out now and I will put a link to this article in today's video description so you can actually have a little read through yourself if you're interested but it basically says the price of the precious metals palladium has soared on the global commodities market. It has jumped by more than 25% in the last two weeks alone and almost doubled in value over the last year. At about $2,500, which is £1,922, an ounce of palladium is more expensive than gold and the pressures forcing it to price up are unlikely to ease anytime soon. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole article, but like I said, I will leave it in today's video description if you'd like to have a read through. It's a very, very interesting read. But I'm actually going to reveal to you how much palladium once reached as an all-time high. And like I said, it wasn't that long ago. It was only a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, that it reached this all-time high. And it is currently sitting under the price of platinum and gold. But it actually reached to 2000 537 pounds so you can see on here i've also written down gold and platinum's all-time highs and this information has been taken from bullion by post so shout out to bullion by post this is where i get all of my graphs from and everything like that i'm not sponsored or anything but i think it's really easy to use you can literally type in the date the timeline the metal and it brings up some really good graphs and information so that is where I got this information from for today's video in terms of all-time highs. But you can see that gold's all-time high was 1,929, which we hit last month for the month before. The all-time high of platinum was 1,183. And the all-time high of palladium, like I said, was 2,537. So way over what gold's all-time high has ever been. And I find it really, really interesting that not many people talk about palladium and its potential. Now, currently we've seen quite a large dip in the prices of palladium. And that is due to less and less combustion vehicles being produced. Now there's more and more electric vehicles being produced and they don't require catalytic converters, which is part of the exhaust system. And that is the main use of palladium. Up until now, the main use of palladium has been in the exhaust of diesel and petrol cars. And its job is to filter the bad fumes that come from petrol and diesel when they are burned and the car is driven. So that is the reason why it has seen such a large drop in spot price over the last couple of years. Now, the current spot price of today's date is sitting at £721. So you can see a huge drop from its all-time high of 2500 Gold's current price at the moment of today's recording is £1,818. And platinum is £776. So you can see it's actually gone from at one point being the most expensive out of the precious metals to now being the least expensive of the precious metals. Like I said, it's currently sitting at £721 per ounce. So it's really interesting to see how it's changed over the last couple of years. 
And like I said, I would be interested to hear from any of you in the comment section that actually stack Palladium or have Palladium in your stack. How has it performed for you over time? Did you buy it when it was at these all time highs and now you're sitting at a loss? Or did you manage to get in there before it started really running up? And are you actually sitting currently in profit? I'll be interested to hear. Now, I'm also going to be testing this Palladium bar on the Sigma machine. This was actually purchased on eBay. The bar is actually inside this box and it was actually purchased on eBay. And I've never actually tested it to see if it is real Palladium or not. So I might not even have a bar Palladium here. I might have a, a kind of silver coated copper bar for all we know. So I'm really interested to see if it does test properly on the Sigma machine. So let's get that fired up. I want to do a quick shout out to Trusty Metrics. Trusty Metrics is the company that has sent me the Sigma machine. They have lent it to me to do a few videos and they're the sole distributors of Sigma machines here in the UK. So for those of you that live here in the UK and you'd like to get your hands on a Sigma machine, it is now easier than ever before because you don't have to import it from America and pay all the postage costs. You can literally buy it from the UK by a UK based company. So that's a real game changer for those of you that are interested in picking one of these up. And I will leave a link to their website in today's video description. So thank you very much, Trusty Metrics, for sending this across. I've done quite a few videos using it now, and I've really enjoyed working through my precious metal stack and verifying different metals. So you can see I've actually pre-loaded it up on Palladium. So it's ready to go. What is so great about this particular model is it's got a built-in battery. So you can see there it's got the battery percentage up the top there. And I don't need any cables or anything like that. It's really lightweight. It comes in this carry case. So you can literally carry this around with you. And when you're going to coin fairs or antique shops or coin shops, you can actually take this with you and you can put it down and you can verify your metals there and then on the spot before you purchase them. So really, really handy. But like I said, we're going to get it onto the Sigma machine now. And like I said, I haven't actually shown this bar on my channel yet so for those of you that haven't yet seen this bar here it is it is still in its original mint packaging the person that i actually brought this from actually brought it from a ubs bank i believe ubs used to be a bank i don't know if they still are but i believe it used to be a bank and they actually purchased it from switzerland so they actually went into a ubs and he actually purchased this from the UBS. So that's a real cool backstory on this piece. Now, for those of you that haven't seen Palladium before, it's quite a dull looking metal. You can see why people don't really have much of this in their stack, if at all, because it doesn't really shine like silver does. Although this coin is a little bit tarnished and a little bit milk spotted, you can see it's got more of a shine, whereas this is more of a kind of dull looking color. So it isn't really very appealing. And you can see it's actually more dense than silver. So you can probably tell that it's, I should have got a silver bar to compare it with, but you can tell that it's quite small compared to a, a regular silver bar. You can see just comparing it to the Britannia, how much smaller it is. And that is because the metal is more dense, so it weighs more. So that therefore the bar is a lot smaller. But yeah, really cool piece. And I really like the fact that it's in this original mint packaging. I actually watched a video yesterday by Silverstruck and he was talking about original mint packaging and is it worth keeping things in the original mint packaging? Does it actually make it sell for more of a premium when you come to sell in the future? And his conclusion was yes. And I fully agree with that video. It's a very, very interesting watch. I will leave a link to that video actually in today's video description because he goes into a lot more detail and he showcases some of his Engelhard items that are still in their original mint packaging. And I fully agree with that. If you're going to especially pick up some of these older, more kind of vintage pieces, it is definitely worth keeping it in the original mint packaging because you can sell it for more of a premium when you come to sell. Now this one eventually I probably will take out of this original mint seal only because it's a bit damaged here and if you look carefully it's actually damaged the seal was actually damaged all the way through to the bar so it doesn't really benefit me to keep it in this mint seal because it's already a little bit damaged. But let's get it straight on the Sigma machine and see if it tests as a real palladium bar. 
Our little boy just got home from school, so we're going to have to wrap the video up soon because you can hear him in the background. But if we press it down there, yes, it does. My heart was going a little bit there because it did actually hang around on the red for a little bit of time there. If I just do that again so you can see, it actually goes to the red. There you go, look, before it goes to the green. So, so yeah, really nice to see that this bar is testing as pure palladium. Like I said, I haven't actually tested that bar before since I brought it, and this was actually brought from eBay. I would not recommend buying more expensive pieces from eBay unless it's a trusted seller, and that is where I brought this from. It was a trusted seller. He had quite a lot of feedback, and we did send a few messages backwards and forwards. I wanted to kind of work out where he'd got this bar from, how long he'd had it in his stack, and a little bit of background on it. And once I established that I was comfortable that he had brought this from the UBS and he'd also sold other precious metals in the past and he had quite a, a large feedback rating. I went ahead and pulled the trigger and picked this up. Now I'm not going to expose how much I actually paid for this bar in today's video. I think I'll save that for a future video, but do put your guesses down in the comment section below. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on how much I paid for this bar. I'm not even going to tell you when I picked this bar up, so you can't look at the, the spot price graph of Palladium and try and get a rough idea. I think it'll be quite interesting to see who can work out roughly how much I paid for this bar. And also let me know in the comment section, do you think I'm currently in profit with this bar or do you think I'm at a loss? So we're gonna wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again to Trusty Metrics for sending me this across. And as always, I hope you have a very nice day.